What up, word? It's your boy, Sporty Black, checking in again, man. Shout out to the notification squad. We're in the building, man. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> somebody had asked me how I felt about the uh, the White House situation. Something about he, his transgender ex lover trying to expose him and all this and that right there. You know, a lot of folks, you know, talking about it, making a lot of memes and all that kind of stuff. Then they got uh, video clips of him. Floating around where um, he went to the sideline. He was playing in the game. This nigga went to the sideline. He sat out next to a teammate. He grabbed that man on it. Woo, I'm talking about, I seen him with my own eye for looking at the clip. You know, so a lot of this, the stuff, they looking at it now in retrospect, man. Like, man, that nigga been on some goddamn, some suspect type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, me personally, man, that's on him. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he choose to do for his sexual orientation, man, that's on him. I don't really care that about that kind of shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the same time, you know, I try to stick to hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? For if I, I'm, I'm talking about hip-hop, I'm talking about hip-hop, you know what I mean? But at the same time, where we at in hip-hop right now, homosexuality is a major part of what's going on in the state of the culture. As of today, you know, I made a video talking about the Young Buck situation and the main reason I made that video about that situation was because I was really disappointed because Young Buck, you know what I'm saying, he kicking this shit like he a crook, you know what I'm saying, he a gangster rapper and all this and all that, you know what I'm saying, so I had a problem with him, you know what I'm saying, really being fake, you know what I'm saying, so, um, so, so this video right here, I'm just gonna try to expound on why I feel like homosexuality is just at a, such a high rate right now off in hip hop. You know, because you gotta look at it, you got so many of these guys that's in the rap game doing a lot of feminine shit. And I think a lot of that comes from, you know what I'm saying, um, these motherfuckers sitting back and trying to defeminize the black man. You know what I'm saying? At one point in rap, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was on some real masculine shit. Like real gangster rap shit. Nigga was still fuck the police, fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore gangster G shit. But now, you know, we like, I call it the drill uh, era. Where everything is about the, 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 the fashions and everybody trying to put such a high premium, premium on some of these designer brands and shit that nigga be wearing. But Motherfucker, I realized that a lot of those fashion designers or these designer clothes, high-end clothes, most of them are homosexual. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of the clothes that these people are wearing, you know what I'm saying, they, 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 the clothes are kind of unisex. They can, men can wear them and women can wear them. You know what I'm saying? They, they done made it cool for niggas to wear purses. You know what I'm saying? They changed the name, call them a, a fanny pack or Whatever, uh, Birkin bag. Well, not Birkin bag. What the fuck the nigga be putting in that shit? <laughs> the hell I forgot. I don't even know the name of them shit, cause you know I ain't I ain't never finna rock like that, man. Cause one thing about me is that I'm a leader to the tip to the extent where I don't follow all trends because it's a lot of trends that come through hip hop all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I try not to get caught up in trends because. When you look back five and ten years from now at some of the old pictures of yourself, you'll be like, man, what the fuck was I think? You know what I mean? So that's why I don't get caught up in none of them trends. So that's one trend that I can't get caught up in. You know what I'm saying? You know, the gold yard bag, that's what I'm trying to say while I go. You know, rocking these bags and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know some some guys, you know what I'm saying, that they rock them. You know what I'm saying? That's on them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for each for each his own. You know what I mean? See, certain people, you know, they come down to it. Certain people really don't know how to dress. You know what I mean? So they just feel like anything with a name brand on this is automatic drill. But to be honest, it really ain't. You can be the freshest nigga dripping harder than anybody at the function. And you don't got no designer high-end clothes on. It's all about how you put that shit together. How you coordinate that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real true. And that come from somebody having taste. You know what I'm saying? And just know how to, you know, put that shit together, man. But 
you know, that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, I think that shit got a lot to do with it because some of these clothes these guys wearing this shit, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that shit such back in hell that niggas when when their war 10 to 15 years ago, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't really know, man. I think that part of it, then the fact that the society is so, you know, sensitive to certain things, you know what I'm saying? If you say uh, gay or faggot or it kind of words like that, you know, they come in there, then you got the LBGT folk got their own community, and them folk got a bunch of money and followers behind that shit. So, you know, they get folk blackballed for saying certain shit. So, people got to be real careful, you know what I'm saying? Then they got even laws, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you go out and you beat up a gay person and they can prove that you did it because he gay, they gonna charge you with a hate crime. Nigga, them folks ain't try to hide your ass. Then, so it's like, um, the American society really, really doesn't cater to homosexuality in the United States. And they done made it, you know, people are real open with that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen a clip last week or two, Jada Schmidt talking about he, his boyfriend and title the creator. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people like Young Thug, these folk been wearing dresses and all this kind of stuff right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas wearing fingernail polish and shit, man. So, you know, it's a lot going on with that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I just think why it's so prevalent right now is just because it's so open. You know what I'm saying? And as far as niggas being on the down low, that shit been going on for a long time. You been having... Niggas running around with this macho image. Yeah, I'm a thug. I'm a gangster. I'm a killer. And then, you know what I'm saying? And the dog, they over him got them sucking dicks on what? You feel what I'm saying? I seen that shit when I went to China. I went to prison at a young age. And I did a long ass bid. And I seen a lot of niggas that I used to look up to on the street thinking these niggas real, you know, gangster, silent, stand up guy. In the chain gang, they in now, you know what I'm saying, fucking with them boys and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, that let me know, you know, what 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 the fuck really going on. But then when them niggas get out, they back to trying to, you know, holler at the hoe, fuck the bitches and all this shit right here. But at the same time, like, damn, nigga, you were just down the road in the chain gang, you know what I'm saying, fucking with the punks and shit. You see what I'm saying? So, them kind of niggas right there, they be in here mingling with the rest of, the, you know what I'm saying, everybody else, man, so that shit crazy, so, you know what I'm saying, then you got, you know, transgender motherfucker that used to be a dude, and they switched over to a girl, and, you know, I think that shit confusing to a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, me personally, I'm not finna fuck with no female that used to be no nigga, period, you know what I'm saying, but well, some niggas, you know, put it in their mind that shit is cool, it's a bitch now, you feel what I'm saying, so, you know, I think that shit all, it's all on the individual, man. A lot of that shit, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here trying to judge nobody. You know what I'm saying? Each is on, like I said, man. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to do, do it. You know what I'm saying? I just think motherfuckers just need to be open about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you got to, but if you get exposed on it, you know what I'm saying? They own it. Like, shit. You know, that was my problem with young boy. If you just been like, yeah, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Men got that whatever, he, she, whatever, this who I'm rocking with, it is what it is. People would have respected it. And then, after a couple months, folk would have got over that shit. And a lot of people still would have supported his music. You know what I'm saying? Especially the LBGT community, they probably would have embraced it. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But he ain't the only one. The White Howard ain't the only one. It's a bunch of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot going on, man. Especially... As you get up in that upper elite, that upper echelon of that music industry stuff, man, it's a lot of, you know, you know what I'm saying, like sexual oriented shit be going on, you know what I'm saying, especially even on the homosexual tip, you know what I'm saying, a lot of niggas get fucked, you know what I'm saying, and then it was like, it used, be a, it used to be a myth in Hollywood that the only way you get a break in Hollywood as a black actor, you would have to play the role of a gay person. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of black actors actually went through that. You know what I'm saying? Will Schmidt, you know, he's somebody that comes to mind off the real. You know what I'm saying? He His first role was a gay role. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was one of the things that stopped Dave Chappelle from getting the first deal because he wouldn't do none of that old 
bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You got people like Cat Williams, some of these other art um actors that I mean blackball and really can't really just get up through there. It's because they wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, do some of that old gay shit that the folk wanted them to do. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot of that shit that be going on, man. So I don't know, man. That shit crazy to me, man. You know, like I said, with each his own, man, I don't give a fuck what the nigga got down do. That's on them. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't put that bad in nobody anyway. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers suspect here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I say, each his own, man. I'm supporting black. That's about all I got for this goddamn title right here, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. You know what I'm saying? Jump in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this whole entire situation, man. You know? And what would you do if you, you found out that your favorite artist, you know what I'm saying, your favorite rap artist was a homosexual? Would you stop listening to his music or would you still support them even though, you know what I mean? That's a good-ass question. Y'all get in the comments and let me know, man. I'm Black. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button.